first meal out since we've been back. Deshante. And we're out to dinner. This is what our friend Jack is having. That's a... Uh, Basio. Basio. And a salad with uh, lots of avocado and tomatoes. Uh -huh. And a baked potato with sour cream. Yeah. And you're having... I'm having octopus. This is Susan. Susan is having octopus. What's that green stuff? Strips. I think that's pesto. Pesto? Yeah. And what's that? Radish probably. Probably radish. Probably radish. It's crispy. Whatever it is. I'm having fettuccine alfredo with chicken. Lynn is having um, cheese, um, spinach dip. Spinach, spinach dip. With uh, cheesy Which beans. is a whole meal. Yeah. Yeah. Now I understand. It says Deshante means peace. No, in Oh, Shante, not Deshante. No, Shante is peace in Hindustani and in Urdu. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi, friends. Going out to pay the water bill and the property taxes and the license plate fees for the cars today. Oh, look at the mess out here. All of those cocos, we call them. That's the fruit off of the off of the uh, queen palms. And it's time to have them trimmed. Do it about uh, two or three times a year. Guy coming this weekend to do it, hopefully. And uh, it's time. While I'm off to pay the water bill and the electric bill, not the electric bill, the uh, property taxes and the car plates. Oh. How are you today? I'm fine. Well, that's good. <laughs> you want to go along? Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Have a good trip. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll throw in some shots of the flowers today. Planted some more onions in the boat and some more cilantro. This is looking good. I got to get the fountain going. Bougainvillea is beautiful this time of year. Picked that out of my garden a couple of days ago. I think we're gonna take the little car today, the BMW. Today we're gonna turn right up here and go around behind the Guadalajara Pharmacy to the water company. Water companies up here. I got my bill from last year. Ooh. New little restaurant here. Good news. Uh, apparently last year I misunderstood and made a deposit. And because I have a water meter, I have a minimum or a maximum uh, quota usage. And I haven't gone over it, so um, they're telling me that I still have 
probably two months worth of credit on my account. So I didn't have to pay anything today. I could have paid, made another deposit, but uh, told them I'd come back in Augusto. So that takes care of the water bill for now. What a cute car, huh? Wow. It's old, but it's still really cute. That's what Lynn says about me. Off we go to Chapala. We'll go pay the property taxes next. We do that at the Municipal Palace. City Hall. Here in this section of La Floresta, the Indian laurel trees are so big they meet across the street. And years ago, they used to refer to this tunnel to the trees as the marriage of the trees. There used to be more, but the wind blew some of them down. I always love this little park as the highway gets close to the lake. And as you can see, the water is not too low for this time of year, just before the rainy season starts in a few weeks. Sometimes it's all dry here out quite a ways, but looking pretty good this year. Hopefully we get a good rainy season and it brings the water all the way up to my seawall at home. Probably not happening. And as we come down into Chapala, see my old friend Pedro painted his house yellow. Hey, nice color. Where'd you get that idea? Uh, Ace Hardware there on the left, Restaurant De Sayuna, great place for breakfast, Immigration Office there on the left, the lake is on our right, big old uh, Hacienda houses along the lake here. Great coffee shop there on the right. Intercasa, lawyer, Spencer on the right. Lady hanging up her garbage on the hooks on the pole so that the dogs don't get to it before they come and pick up the garbage today. Big brick building is City Hall on the right there. Chapala's Municipal Palace. Always a problem looking for a parking place around here. Malacone, straight ahead. Well, no place to park there. That Victorian mansion there on the corner is called Casa Braniff. Uh, the Braniff family owned Braniff Airlines in the United States for many years, and this was one of their um, vacation homes for a while. Casa Braniff was built in 1906, and it's currently a restaurant. The church there on the right and around the block we go again looking for a parking place. 
They used to have angle parking here, and sometime in the last year they've changed it to parallel parking, which means three cars can park there instead of six or seven or eight. I'm um, not sure I understand the logic of that. That one was too short even for my little car. Oh, look at that guy. Back wheel only. Huh. That was cool. Well, around the block again. Let's see, where were we? Oh, yes. That big brick building on the right is the uh, Municipal Palace City Hall. Parking is always a problem here. Oh, wait. I already did that part of this, didn't I? Never mind. Oh, 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 I see a parking place. Here we go. Right here. Perfecto. City Hall. Over here at this window is where you pay your property taxes. Pretty all. Municipal Palace has some wonderful artwork. I think that's Miguel Hidalgo there. And the mural up the stairway is amazing. It depicts a lot of the history of Mexico and the history of the lake. Municipal Palace of Chapala. The colors are really vibrant. Just beautiful. And that's what happens if you don't pay your property taxes. An old printing press. Part of the Christmas nativity scene. Missing one baby Jesus. Elefante. When I first came to this area, this was the Hotel Lido, and it was for sale for $800,000. And I went back to Portland, Oregon, tried to get my ducks in an order to buy it. Of course, I never would have beat out the city with an offer, but had 27 rooms, and they say that Pancho Villa stayed here. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, last year was uh, 8,261 pesos. It was about uh, $430. This year it's 9,040. I can live with taxes on two properties. Well, the Chapala waterfront. Oh, fires over there in Mount Garcia. Once they start burning here, they just have to let them burn. It's a big uh, fire up by the forest by Guadalajara. They come down here to the lake with... Oh, cuidado. They come down here to the lake with um, helicopters and dip water out of the lake fly it back up over the mountains but if they're burning here they just let it burn 
doesn't uh, burn up any higher than the top of the mountain. Well, we'll take a walk on the Malacan some other time. Right now, we gotta get going to the place where you pay for your license plates. There's that cute old car again. Oh, place in the shade. Over there's the old volleyball court. I played volleyball over there three days a week for 12 years. Used to be able to eat anything I wanted. Never put on a pound. Kind of different now. Thinking about uh, going and playing pickleball, but I've been having a problem with my right arm. And uh, until I get that fixed, just have to do my walking. Not any organized sport. Well, hopefully there isn't a big wait up here. Sometimes the room is full of people waiting to pay. But this time of the day and this time of the month shouldn't be terrible. Uh, I paid the um, property taxes with credit card and a US credit card. And you can pay your license plate tags here with the credit card also, but not a, a foreign, a non-Mexican credit card. Only a Mexican credit card. <laughs> Did the taxi driver just ask me for money to pass in front of him? Whoa, good job. Head of the line. Well, once again, love in Mexico. For three vehicles, that's a Dodge van. Uh, my BMW Z3, and I have a Honda ATV. Um, it's a Honda Foreman. Total, 2,029 pesos, which with today's exchange rate of 17.5, that's uh, $116. I can live with $116 for three vehicles. Uh, cost me a lot more than that in the States for one, a lot more, twice as much. Uh, not in Arizona, uh, South Dakota or Motorhome, Oregon. And here we are again, the common denominator today, that cute old car.
I think that'll make my video for today. Thanks for riding along. You know, back when I lived in the States, I used to dread property tax time. Uh, this house that I used to live in, I lived in there for uh, about 10 years. Property taxes were $9,000 a year when I left. Anyway, going and paying my property taxes and my car tags here in Chapala, Mexico. I actually consider it kind of fun because I always walk out feeling really good about the price. Hey, uh, I think my next video is going to be uh, time for some questions and answers. And, um, oh, I'll answer one right now. Got a question on last week's video about uh, IMSS. That's the Mexican government health insurance. And the question was, how much do I pay for it? Um, it's by age, and if you're... 20 to 29, it's 10,200 pesos. If you're 40 to 49, it's 12,700 pesos. Uh, it goes up and up as you get older. And Lynn and I are 77. 70 to 79, it's 19,050 pesos. Um, at uh, 80, it stops going up. But for this year, it's 19,700 pesos for the yearly IMS premium. I got several more questions about uh, who is the guy who facilitates uh, doing my renewals for me. Uh, the guy that does it for me, it's not his main business anymore. He's just been doing it for me for years. But uh, if you're new to it, I would suggest you Google Chapala Law. You'll immediately um, Spencer McMullen's law office will come up, and I'm pretty sure that he facilitates IMSS renewals um, and uh, new applications as well, I think. And he does other kinds of uh, legal services. Highly recommend him. He's done a lot of legal services for me over the years, including my immigration stuff before I was permanente and didn't have to do it every year. And uh, he wrote uh, Mexican wills for Lynn and I and uh, some other stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, Google Chapala Law. You'll get uh, hooked up to a guy who can do a lot of different things for you. Spencer McMullen, highly recommend him. Um, I want to say one more thing about IMSS. Um, it's not as easy to get into it as it used to be. Lynn and I have been uh, in the uh, system for 20 years. And 20 years ago, it was much easier to get in than it is now. Um, if you have um, um, some serious issues, you probably will not qualify to be included in the government health insurance IMSS in Mexico. Um, don't mean to be discouraging about it. Go ahead and try. Uh, leave me some questions. <laughs> I'll come up with some answers next week. And as always, I appreciate each and every one of you. Hey, subscribe. Uh, you got to help me catch up to Jerry Brown Travels. <laughs> hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.